I'm going to use the open source software Audacity to adjust both the timing of the start of the audio as well as the end. And also, I think I'm going to try to increase the volume a bit prior to loading it into the Flutter Flame game system. Under Effects, select Amplify. Select the application level that you want. Press OK. Let's test it again. And with uh, pre-caching the audio effect, uh, you know, that front part, I'm going to try to cut it down and see how it sounds. So I just deleted it, and then you can just use your mouse to move it over. And... Um, I'm going to delete the fade and see how it sounds. I'm going to try to use a second sound. Let's see how this one from mixkit.co sounds. I'm going to download this and save it as a secondary sound effect to compare the two during the game. It's kind of hard for me to decide which is the better uh, asset to use at this stage until you're to actually play the game. Uh, it's a matter of personal preference, right? So it's your game. You can decide what type of effect to create. We're using the effect uh, either a score increase or some type of bonus energy. When I download it, I'm going to save it directly to my projects folder in assets slash audio slash SFX. So in the previous video, we've already established an audio pool that we are using in the audio or asset slash audio slash SFX. That thing has been placed into our pubspec.yaml file as well. Just a quick review of the process. Uh, you first need to download the sound effect. So we have this new one bonus. We've already added flame audio. We've already added the audio file to assets audio SFX. We've already put the same folder into pubspec.yaml. We now need to do steps five, six, and seven. The first step is to declare a new audio pool asset. So the data type is audio pool, which is from the flame audio package. You must have it installed. I'm going to call this new audio pool bonus. And then within the onload method of the main flame game, we're going to load the actual audio file using the audio pool dot create. The variable name is now bonus and the file name is bonus dot WAV. Once you have the variable declared and assigned within the onload method, we can now just simply start the audio effect at time of collision. Let's 
restart it and see how the audio effect enhances our game. If you don't hear the audio, make sure the Android emulator audio is maxed out. I'm going to stick with this audio effect. You can choose any audio file that you want to create the mood in your game. The audio effects are very powerful, I think, as you know. So make sure that it's one that you're happy with for your game. Subscribe to the channel for updates on the more than 50 videos I've made on Flame. The videos with source code are also available for free on Teachable, 100% free course if this is a hobby. In whatever way you choose to learn, make sure you have fun and unleash your creativity. Have a fantastic day.